Hello guys, welcome to my channel and today in this episode I want to show you how to have a routing system inside your React.js application. Uh, we will be using a React Router package. It's so powerful and flexible in order to have routing system. So as you can see, it's the main official website of React Router package that we will be used it and you can see lots of examples and documentation here so I have choose a small project to teach you how to configure it, set up it or have uh, URL parameters or nested components with routing and so on so be with us to see how uh, we can configure it and please subscribe to my channel in order to receive notifications whenever a new tutorial is out there uh, okay guys the first thing that we need is a empty react.js project and it's better to use create react app a script in order to create your react application in order to set up it you just need to run this command this one and then go to the project directory and finally you need to install react router done all the libraries that we uh, needed for this uh, tutorial were them okay as you can see uh, here i installed React uh, JS library and React DOM and React Router DOM. When you install this, it will be it will install all the necessary elements for us. And if I just run my project, which is running, I think yeah, yeah, you can see I have an empty page and. I want to have several roads and several pages for my project so let's see how we can do it so let's remove all the sections here I don't need all of them and here the first thing that I need is the rotor component rotor yeah and from now on, all the elements of my React.js project should be as a children of rotor element. And inside the rotor, I will have a switch component. And inside my switch, I will have uh, my roads. How? In this way. Road. And then you can specify the path for this road for example I want uh, to have a, a root path for my home page so I can define component will be my home component I need to create it first Okay, no problem. And for example, I will have two another pages, for example, about and products. And again, about component and products component. So I need to create my components here. Let's create a folder components and inside it um, component JS file. Let's do it faster. I don't need it. Um, component just a div with 
welcome to my website okay uh, I just need to export my component let's do it in this way yeah and to another component for about component and finally products component here is list of my products and for example we can put it inside the h2 tag and oh sorry okay and here i need to have a, a ul and for example computer or laptop or my mobile phone and finally TV. Okay, here is list of my products and inside the about again we will have a h2 tag about us and lorem ips yeah it must be ready about components so i want to have three different roads for each of them so inside the app.js i have root route for home component let's import them again about component and products yeah uh, I need to import my roads from react router dom if I were correct yes and let's see how things are working oh my god we have an error here inside the module router JS let's see if we define all the things in the correct way we have this we have our switch inside our router and path are clear component let's use children drop to see can it work for us mm. Oh, we have to import browser rotor instead of rotor and yeah here you can see it works and if I go to the about page or products nothing will change <laughs> why what's the problem let me change it again to component exact yeah uh, okay let's talk about this keyword that can do lots of things for us uh, here we have a switch element and rec rotor will uh, match the 
define a parameter inside the browser with all of these rules and the first one that matched with uh, our URL it will render that component for example if I use only slash here it will search for slash and it will find it and render it for us the first it will render the first one but uh, if we don't use exact it means that we haven't defined uh, this road should be checked completely I mean that uh, react router by default match uh, these roads partially and in order to say not to do that we need to define exact keyword and it means that uh, if you find for example a slash and after it was for example one and or two these are two different uh, components so let's back currently no I don't need home sorry here welcome to my website and if I go to about you will see that it will render another component about component for me and let me check the products product yeah okay uh, for example we want to have some links inside our components that refers to another components how we can do it let's see uh, for example inside our home component we want to have these links inside h2 my title and ul li and inside it I should use link component and then specify the path for it I want to show for example uh, about page to the user and the link uh, link text will be about us and the URL will be a slash about and again for products my products let's see first go to the home and here you can see that I have two links two hyperlinks and when I click on them it will uh, redirect me to the right component uh, for your projects you definitely need to have sometimes a parameter or an optional parameter for your roads how we can do it it's so easy I need to go to my app.js file and for example I need to have product ID for each of my pro products so I need to add a, a slash here and column the name of parameter for example ID or product name or something else let's choose ID for it and here to read the ID I can use hooks let ID is equal to use params don't forget to import it from react Rotterdam and print it here ID yeah and oh, you see that it works there we go okay uh, let's see how we can make it optional parameter uh, here I just need to add a question mark after the name of parameter you can see currently I don't have any ID but the rotor switch will find this component for me and render it sometimes we need to redirect our user 
to another page and we can't use the link component for example inside the function i want to redirect my user in some circumstances here inside for example products component i want to have a button button and on click For example, here I want to redirect the user. Let's first write a button, go to home, and the only thing that I need for it is to use a history. So, history, I need to get it from use history. Sorry, use history from React Router done. And by using this history, I can use push function. And here I just need to write the URL path for it. I just want to redirect user to the root. Here, as you can see, when I click on this button, it will redirect me to another page. If I wanted to redirect the user to about page, I could do that. Yeah, you can see it redirected completely inside the about route. The last thing that I want to mention in this React Router tutorial is that how we can show a, a not found page to the user if he uh, had in, uh, inputted invalid path, for example, about, we should show a message to him. In order to do it, I need to have another route for it and use star sign and I need to call a component, let's make it here, function net found and Return page not found. And easily I can use it here. Or maybe it's better to show the current uh, inserted path to the user here. How we can do it? We need to use hooks again, uh, location, use location, I need to import it and use it in this way, path name. Yes, uh, here you can see that uh, my router, my switch will match this URL because it doesn't exist inside our routes, it will find this one for it, matches this one, render my component, and inside my component I use the location in order to find what page URL are we on. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you, it was beneficial for you in order to use it inside your projects. It's so powerful. For more information, you can visit uh, React Router page. Uh, if you have any question, uh, I will be happy to answer all of your questions. Uh, please uh, like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel. Bye to next video.